The first card is going to be, come on, Delvin Cook, Justin Jefferson, Brandon Scherf. Next card here, we're hoping for a skill position of some sort, Joey Bosa. Oh, no. We got one more shot. Justin Jefferson, Fred Warner. Oh, no. Welcome, guys, to another episode of No Money Spent, where we're building a goon squad that we're going to go ahead over and compete in Weekend League. Super excited about it. This is, I believe, episode five. Here we are officially on Friday a week and one day after we had started this account where we're continuing to build our mud squad here and we just finished up the team affinity solo so we're gonna go ahead and t pick a team standout we're gonna go ahead and get Adrian Amos here in just a second Amos Amos one of the two anyway I digress but we are super excited about that and we're gonna go through the lineup now one thing I do have to concede this journey is t is is tougher than I had I had expected I think one thing that I totally underestimated was just how much training and the lower pieces of these power-ups go for I mean you need so much training to build a full team lineup and you're gonna notice a lot of the pieces on the team they even have steps where I just need training to get them up, up another step and we just simply don't have the coins at the moment to do so but without further ado let's get started in today's video but before we get started, please go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to the, this channel. And if you do so, you will be automatically entered for a 50k giveaway courtesy of Capital Mutt, this coin sponsor of this video series. They will pick one at random and head over there if you're looking for any coins to build up your squad. Let's get into the video. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and return to challenges. So we're going to head out of here. We're going to go to return to challenges. I don't know if this is going to auto open. So we've waited on the Viking screen. I do hope that this was the last one. I believe it was. Here we go. We do get an all rook. Oh, wait, what is this? This is a token fantasy pack. Um, well, I do want Danzler. So I'm going to go ahead and pick him. I don't know how many of these tokens you need. But that's cool. But he, here's what we were expecting to get. Uh, a Team Stano Fantasy Pack. We are done. So there's the Bears. And I already said who we are going to get pick. So we're just going to go ahead and find him. Adrian Amos. Thank you. I We needed this guy, man. He's going to be great for the, for the Viking Packer theme team. He's got great speed. He's going to be a great user. Great coverage skills. Big fan. Was it worth the grind? I'd say so. This, this one wasn't too bad. You can play them on, on easy. And the fact that you get to pick does make a big difference. The team of the year thing with only getting to pick for one of three and to get completely stonewalled like we did, that wasn't my favorite. Team of the year was a little bit tougher. But this this was pretty good, I do have to admit. So let's go over here. We don't even have 7,000 training. <sighs> So we can't even get them to the final tier. We, we'll fix that. We're only short by like a thousand or so. So no big deal. Let's see. What do we have that we can quick sell to free up some cap? How much do you quick sell? Oh, man, that's not a lot. That's not a lot. Okay. Actually, it involve Joseph. I kind of need that. Well, this I don't need. There's some training. All right, so we need a little bit more. I wouldn't even recommend what I'm doing here. You should not be quick selling. Um, play like lower overall players. It's a lot better value if we buy a higher overall player. I just sim simply had them, so that's why I'm doing that. Going over to the lineup screen, back to Adrian Amos. Let's get this going, buddy. 7,000, you bet. Pay the piper. And we will go ahead and put his final card in there. Looking looking good. And, uh, yes, yeah, so we're just going to leave him as is for now. Yeah, so a quick look at the lineup. So this is what we're working with right now. Like I said, is this team ready for weekend league? I'd say no. We, we need some help. Uh, offensive line, well, we need a left guard. Once I get a left guard, I'll feel a little bit better. I'd say the offensive line is fine. Jermichael Finley, we need to get him up a few levels for sure. 
get him ready for weekend league. Randy Moss is fine. Stephon Diggs, I'd like to get his final card. Randall Cunningham, he's definitely ready to go. We're excited about him. Delvin Cook uh, could use a couple upgrades. On the defense side of the ball, Micah Hyde is good. Adrian Amos, we just finished. Linebackers aren't super important, so I'd say 10 Hendricks. We can roll with that. Derwin James, you'd like to get up a little bit higher. Jair, he's good to go. Charles Woodson, love to get his last piece. Love to get Dion up a little bit. Reggie White, Julius Peppers, perfectly fine. Don't really use defensive tackles. So at the end of the day, I'd say we're, we're doing pretty well. I'm okay with this lineup. I think once we make some tweaks, I don't know if 200K is really going to make that much of an impact. What I would like to do is three things. One, I'd like to get Sprinter on the team. That will give everyone plus two speed and plus two acceleration if you have 40 Sprinters. So I'm going to use my coins to do that first and foremost. Second, we need to get our Packer and our Viking backups in here. We need to at least get 25 Packers, 25 Vikings, we're what we're well short of that right now. So we need to start getting some cheap backups, some gold, some silvers, other power ups, etc., to make sure that we get that done. And lastly, we're gonna go ahead and do abilities. Now, Randall Cunningham has 10 AP, so we don't have a lot to work with on offense. But I still want to reevaluate, make sure that I do want all the abilities that I put on Cunningham. We'll quickly show you them. So we have recuperation. That's very important because we're going to be using our escape artist as a makeshift fast break ability. So we need to be able to recharge. Gunslinger, it's almost mandatory that you have that fast release in this game. And then Hot Route Master basically you can take any offensive formation and put the routes out that you like. It's a super good savings over the, the apprentices. But at the same time, that is 10 AP on a quarterback. So we may switch it up. We're not quite sure yet. On defense, I have literally no abilities, and I need to figure that out. So that's when I say third abilities, I basically mean on the defense, and uh, that's pretty much it. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to polish up the lineup here, get things ready to go, and I, I think we're just going to play some head-to-head -head seasons. I think the big thing with head-to-head -head seasons last night is I was playing a lot of bots. I'll be honest, like straight-up mechanical bots. They didn't quit. They were super bad at the game. That's what I got get for sandbagging, essentially. But I was kind of bummed about that. And we'll, we'll go ahead and just talk while I open some of these uh, core, core team affinity packs that I got throughout the way for the solos. We'll, we'll open a couple Vikings. We'll open a couple Packers. Um, but yeah, the bots that was kind of a waste of time. Actually, this is super clutch because we we need some of these golds for our theme team. So the fact that they didn't quit and, you know, I was hanging big not, like big scores against them, I mean, that was kind of a bummer for sure. But, you know, it is what it is. We were getting the wins, so it wasn't a complete waste of time. I just, I'm not sure where I want to go to, like, boost the squad further. I think as far as solos, the, the right move might be the, the Black History Month solos. I think those are pretty easy pretty sure pretty easy that'll just give me some good training to be honest i mean i don't know if it's bad voodoo to say that i'm going to quick sell what i get from those solos but to be honest it, it'd be just some quick and easy training that i i really could use on the squad obviously if i'm going to go ahead and get sprinter get some abilities so uh yeah so we'll go ahead and we'll open up this last packer pack we do get an elite Devonte adams hey could be worse that is actually a pretty glitchy pull we got we have a welcome pack here so we'll go ahead and open that guy up now i imagine i could probably quick sell that i probably need the training honestly one thing i want to check on is the sets because we noticed earlier in the video i did get an all rookie token and i'm kind of curious what that's looking like so that Yeah, I don't have any of these. Okay. So what about players then? How many, like, if I wanted Danzler, what do I need? 18. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Well, they're certainly not giving anything. They're not doing us any favors. We should have known that. 
you need a lot of these tokens in order to get a Danzler. So, okay. Well, I was hoping maybe it was like 5 or 10, you know, make it palatable. But 18, that's a lot. It's a lot, a lot. Anyway, we got those team standout solos done. We're going to go ahead and do the Black History Month. And then later tonight, we're going to take this team to the field for some weekend league. Send some good vibes our way. We're going to need them because it's going to be rough. But we're going to do it. We've we've came this far, no stopping now. So, until next time, peace.